Hey everyone, so finally the Dwarf 2 has arrived and I want to do a quick little unboxing video to give you guys an idea of what's in the box because after I do this unboxing video, I'm going to have to charge the batteries and I want to get a video out pretty quick to tell you about this really cool product. Now, I did ask Dwarf 2 to send this to me and I'm going to have to figure out how to open this. Why is it I always have trouble with this? I want to do unboxing videos and it's like, no, no, you don't have any actually open boxes. So this is the Dwarf 2. Uh, it's very well packaged in this really thick plastic that just doesn't want to come off. There we go. All right, so it comes in a plastic wrap, which probably nobody cares about, but there you go. So the box is, oh, well packaged. Is that gonna come out? Ooh. Not really ASMR on that one. Didn't make that much of a sound. But here we go. So we're going to open up the box. And it opens up and it says, see further. Which I'm going to pop out. It includes this whole uh, container here with, I'm assuming, cables and stuff, which we'll look at in a second. And then it comes out with this giant box and, whoops, that's it for the box. So we're gonna pop the box over there. And then we have the bag, which has the actual Dwarf 2 in it. Which we're going to attempt to open up here. And we have the little carrying case that comes with it. And this carrying case is actually pretty uh, good. Uh, actually, it's a surprisingly good quality little bag for it. Um, and then we have inside, more stuff and importantly the dwarf 2. So we're gonna put the dwarf 2 back in here for a second and we're just gonna go through some of the accessories that you get with the dwarf 2 deluxe version I believe. This is looking like the deluxe version they sent me yeah. So inside there's a little tiny manual which probably tells you to go online in order to download the latest firmware, which you do need to do because Dwarf Labs is really good at pushing new firmware updates and also getting the mobile app for iOS or Android. At the time of making this video, the Android app is out. The iOS app is in beta. I have the beta, so I'm going to be able to use it, but more features are coming in the next coming days or week. So this is the Dwarf 2 telescope, the main body and everything you want. It also has a compartment here for the battery. It is wrapped in really good quality plastic. They definitely went and ensured that this is actually very nicely wrapped and packaged, which is good because this telescope pretty much needs to work out of the box as it's mostly electronics in terms of like the telescope itself, but also all the motors and everything else. The Dwarf 2 is actually pretty solidly built here. Doing this backwards for me, forwards for you. You can open up and you find the battery compartment here with a battery already installed in the Dwarf 2. Now, because I'm in a colder climate, I did ask Dwarf 2 to send me a second battery. If you live in like Canada or Northern Europe, I would definitely recommend that you look at getting one of these because while the runtime is about three hours, in colder climate, you can expect to get a little less performance with the built-in battery. So if you are going out to a dark sky site, it's best to have more than one battery basically so that you can ensure that you're going to have a good night out rather than a short night out. Which brings us to the accessories that you can get as part of the deluxe package. First is this tabletop tripod. It is branded Dwarf Lab and it opens up and basically has a little ball head on top with a quarter inch 20, which you can then take and screw into the Dwarf Lab like so. This is great if you want to use the Dwarf Lab on the ground or say on a picnic table or on a ledge with enough space that you can ensure that it's not going to get knocked over and be able to use it pretty much anywhere. The next item that you get is in this little bag and I have actually no idea what it is. Oh, it's a strap. Ta-da! For the actual carry bag, which I can now put on very quickly, so you can carry your dwarf 2 around. 
like so. You can then put everything you need for the Dwarf 2 inside this bag, which I'll do at the end of the video to show you that, yes, it all fits in there. Another item is a SD card, or an SD mini card with an adapter for SD, which most people have readers for these days. And if you do need to go get a reader, I'll have a link below if your computer needs one. Like, like everything else in this container, this everything is really well packed and almost impossible to open up. I do highly suggest that you get yourself a pair of scissors. Let's move on. So when I first opened the box, you might remember this see further thin box that I sort of breezed right over. So this box here, if I'm correct, it contains the filters and the filter holders, which you can get as part of the deluxe package. Ta-da! Just flip that the right way. Ta-da! So two of these filters are for when you want to do solar imaging. One filter is a UHC filter, which is used for astrophotography imaging at night if you happen to live in a sky that has a lot of light pollution. This is the holder that's magnetic that you would screw these filters into and place on the dwarf telescope. And this here is a little box that says mobile telescope. I have no idea what this is. So this is apparently a tiny microscope which I have no idea how to use it, so I'm gonna put it back in the box for now, and I will make another video about this once I read the manual, but apparently it comes with the dwarf telescope in the bundle that I got. I think that's pretty cool. I always like surprises. But back to the dwarf too. So I did find a pair of old scissors if you happen to want to sponsor some future unboxing videos and send me some better scissors, you know, please con feel free to contact me. But now that we have scissors, we can get back to actually showing you how to put this all together. So the adapter we're going to use later in the computer, but basically you put the micro adapter in there, and then you plug this into an SD reader for your computer. For now, the adapter is just going to go over here, beside my computer, with many other adapters. And I'm going to use this little tiny SD card, and it's going to go in the back of the dwarf here, like so. And we can close it there. At this point, we can press this button right here and turn on the dwarf too. But since we just received this, the first thing we need to do is actually plug in the USB-C port here and charge the internal battery. There's also a thin layer of plastic here on top of the lenses to protect them. Now you don't have to take it off right away, but just make sure you take it off before you actually try to image outside with it. But you'll take this adapter here and it'll magnetically connect to the optics. And then that's where you can then take these filters here and screw them over the proper lens. If you're doing the UHC would go over the telephoto lens. And if you decide to do solar, you would put it over both lenses because you do not ever want to point a telescope lens at the sun without proper solar filters. And after you've charged it, you can take it outside and ready to go. As you can see, everything fits in the case very nicely. You can zip it up, sling it over your shoulder, and head out to your observing session. One final comment I want to make as I'm charging the batteries for the Dwarf 2 is that it comes in two varieties. There's the classic and the deluxe package. And just out of the box, I personally feel the deluxe package, despite being a little bit more expensive, is definitely worth the upgrade. You're gonna get three quality filters that allow you to do solar, and you're also gonna get this little adapter so you can actually put 1.25 inch filters on the Dwarf 2. This means that as time goes on, if you want to get a multi-narrow band filter, or if you want to get specialty filters, you can get them. And trying to buy all these filters and everything else separately is definitely going to increase your cost well beyond the price difference between the Classic and the Deluxe. So that's my initial recommendation looking at everything that comes in the Deluxe package, plus my extra battery. So once the battery is charged, I'm going to be really excited about testing out the Dwarf 2. If you are already sold on this device, 
and you want to help me out, I do have affiliate links below. Um, it costs you nothing extra, but it gives me a little bit of money to help keep run the channel and buy equipment that companies don't send me for free. In addition, if you have any questions about the Dwarf 2 or questions about astronomy or astrophotography in general, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And if you aren't yet convinced that the Dwarf 2 is for you and you want to know more about it, be sure to check out this playlist because I'm going to be testing this to the nines and pretty much if you have an idea, I'll give it a try as long as it's not throw it in the dumpster or run it over with a car or flush it down a toilet because it definitely will not fit down a toilet.